there are three things that I look for in a camera bag. The first one is, is it gonna fit all the gear that I need to bring? Second one is comfort. I want the camera bag to be as comfortable as possible with all the gear that I have in there. And third is storage and access. How do I access the bag? Does the storage system fit my workflow? And if you've been watching this channel, you know that I switched from Pick Design to Shimoda, specifically the Shimoda Explore V2. This one's a 35 liter version. It's like the biggest one they have. And this bag pretty much fits all of the three criteria that I look for in a camera bag. I've been using this bag for years and pretty much no complaints. Okay, maybe a couple nitpicking things. But if you want to know more about this bag, I have a video up here that you can check it out. It goes into more details on how I use this bag. Now, despite how much I love this bag, the 35 liter size is kind of too big for everyday use. Oftentimes, I find myself not filling up all of the storage space inside this bag because I don't need to carry all of my camera gear with me all the time like every single day to work so at one point i was this close to get the 25 liter version of the shimoda explorer v2 because that's how good this bag is and then not too long ago shimoda came out with a kickstarter campaign for the urban explorer which is this one right here. This is the 25 liter version. It also comes in 20 and 30. And the design language is pretty much the same as the Explorer V2, except that it's more slim and sleek. I've been using this bag for a couple months now. And I have to say the thoughtful innovation that goes into this bag is phenomenal. Yes, there are a couple downsides. And again, I'm probably nitpicking. Let's start with the camera strap. Over here, we have a pick design capture clip. And there are two common problems with the capture here. The very first one is that if your camera strap is too thick or too big, it's really hard to put the capture clip on the strap. There are longer screws for the Peak Design Capture here that you can use. But if the strap is too thick, you kind of have to squeeze into this little tiny space here in order for the capture clip to like hold the strap down so you can screw the capture clip like in place. And the second problem is, even though you have the capture clip on the strap, the placement of this might cause some comfort depending on where this is located on the strap against your shoulder right here. And with the Shimoda Urban Explorer, they cleverly designed this separate part on the strap over here so the capture clip can just be attached to the outer side. The metal plate here is not gonna go against your skin, against your bone right here. Another thing I really like about the Urban Explorer is the shoulder strap over here because this is magnetic and it's really easy to put it on. You just snap it on and it's like, this is right there. And if you want to undo this, you can just push it to the opposite side and right away it comes off. Quick and easy design. Now at the bottom of the backpack here, we have a hidden pouch where you can put your passport or any important documents or belongings that you want to hide. It's just a nice little touch and option to have in a bag like this. The handles of the bag is also retractable so it doesn't like come out of the bag. Like over here is right, like, you know, you can pull it up and then it goes back in right away. The same as the side over here, you can pull out like this and it goes back in. There's also a bottom handle, like all the other Shimoda backpack has. And honestly, I feel like all the camera bags should have this function because it, it makes it so easy when you're in a shoot, you can just move it back like here and there whenever you need to. You don't have to like put everything down and just zip everything up and then like move it and then open it again. It's just a, it's just a hassle. The outside pocket is very similar to the Explorer V2 right here. This is pretty much where you can put like small documents or even like a light jacket if you want to. There's also an AirTag pocket down at the very bottom here, which I think is super useful. Now the way you access this camera bag essentially is through the back panel and you can either access here in the big compartment or on the side and this gives you option now personally i don't i really use side axis so i had that part sealed off i also feel like the side axis is on the smaller side like it fits my canon r5 with like a big lens like this but i would assume if you have like a medium format it might be harder to take the camera out from the side axis since the r5 it fits like almost just right so personally i still like to access my camera gear through the back over here. And one thing I like about this design is that with the back access to your gear, you open the bag this way. Instead of like a lot of other bag goes open like the other way, which essentially takes more space, it gets on the floor and gets dirty. And when you zip everything back up and you put it on your back, it makes your clothes dirty. Before you go inside the compartment, 
there's something I need to mention. I think the 25 liter and the 30 liter, that's where you can fit the 16 inch laptop, but not here at the back. This fits like a 14 inch or like a notebook like this. It's very small. You can also fit an iPad obviously, but it doesn't fit a 16 inch laptop. You have to put it in the front, which is also very new to me because I've never seen a bag like this, like where you can put your laptop in front of the bag. So the top compartment, that's where you can access the laptop compartment. Well, the big laptop. If you have the 14 inch, you still have the option to either put it in front or in the back. This is where you can put the laptop right here slides all the way in and fits perfectly it's like a it's like a, almost a perfect fit to the point where it's a bit tight at the edge so whenever i pull my laptop out i need to make sure like like the edge is not like blocking the laptop i would imagine that the 14 inch is a lot more smooth in and out with the 16 inch you really have to like pull a little bit on the side in order to have the laptop out now the top compartment it's on a smaller side you can put like accessories, small things, maybe a, another jacket if you need, or even snacks. And there's a simple pouch right at the top with two pockets. And that's where I put my mint earbuds and my spare contact lenses, just in case. And I also have my Peak Design leash. No, this is not the leash. Where is it? I forgot. Basically, it's like a wrist strap for your, for your camera that I use all the time. And that's pretty much it on top of over here. Just like the essential things, very small and very like minimal. There's also something that I forgot to mention with the side pocket here. You can put like water bottles or your small tripod like I have here with the PGY Tech Mentos pod. One side is for your camera access, the other side is actually now like a big pocket where you can put like power banks and then I have like extra, well, my DJI Pocket 3 extra battery extender thingy. I have my flashlight here and just like you can put a power bank here as well I have my longer strap from Peak Design here just in case if there are places where I need to have a strap on my camera which I didn't know existed until I went to Japan one time luckily I have this strap so I could bring my camera there's this little pass through that you can have your power bank here and then USB-C cable inside the bag where you can charge your camera and different gear that you have in there overall it's just a very thought out design and I usually have my like phone charger like all the cores i just like stuff it in here so it, they are like in one place doesn't move around this way it saves me the space to bring like a tech pouch or anything this essentially act like a simple tech pouch compartment now the main compartment of this bag obviously that's where the camera cube sits i can have the camera r5 with the big lens in one side this is how i carry them and then on the side over here i have another space where i can have my other lens and just lay in there. So at the edge over here, I can still have like a small prime lens. Usually I have the 50 nifty over here. And then at the bottom, I have the Nisi filter pouch, which contains pretty much all of my filters that I need. And right beside the Nisi filter pouch, I have the Repo GR30, which fits perfectly right at the bottom. I didn't even have my drone here, but if I want to, I can still fit my drone up right at the side over here where I have my Nifty 50, which fits perfectly in there because the Mini 3 Pro is just so tiny. I'm sure it's the same with the with the Mini 4 Pro. By the way, there's also another pocket behind the top compartment. That's where I keep my SD card and my little toolkit, which comes in handy all the time. The 25 liter also fits in front of your airplane seat, which I have tried. However, it takes up pretty much all the space in front of you, so it's hard for your leg to stretch. As for comfort, I find this fascinating. Like, if I have the same amount of gear inside the 25 liter Shimoda Urban Explorer, it's not bad. Like, it's comfortable, but I wouldn't say it's like super comfortable when I have the same amount of gear inside the Explorer V2. For some reason with the Explorer V2, because it's a bigger bag, so it's heavier compared to this one, but it doesn't feel as like tiring when I'm carrying the same amount of gear for the same amount of time, which I find it super interesting because I think it's the strap that, that makes the big difference. Like over here, this one is really sleek. And don't get me wrong, these straps are comfortable. Like compared to a lot of other bags that I have tried before, these are amazing. But compared to its own, like, Urban Explorer V2, this one over here, this strap over here is just 
so much more comfortable for some reason. So I guess just keep that in mind if you want the most amount of comfort, maybe look into the Explorer V2. That, that, it's a fantastic bag. So far there are just a couple downsides with this bag. And I say it's not like a deal breaker. It's an, again, it's like nitpicking. First one is with the with the handles, like the, with the materials of the handles. I'm not sure if everyone has the same problem with. On the side and the edge over here, you, you get this fuzzy line that keeps coming out. I keep cutting them, and then they just keep on coming out. Maybe one day I'll just cut all the lines out, and I don't know what's gonna happen, honestly. And another thing is that that the bag doesn't stand by itself. Like you can probably make it work where you don't have much stuff in there but it's always slanted and if I have like stuff in there it's definitely not gonna stand it's just gonna fall like I don't really know how I did it over here but somehow it start like it standing right now but no it doesn't stand like this all the time most of the time like 99% of the time it doesn't stand which I don't really like but this might be nothing to you overall I'm really satisfied with my new everyday camera bag especially with all these new innovative design and details into the bag I am still a little bummed out about like it's not as comfortable as the Explore V2 which is kind of expected but at the same time this also keeps me in check so I don't bring way too much gear that I don't need to which is always a good thing